Greetings everyone, Asian Proud here. We hope you're having a fantastic day. We are at the end of the Knights of the Nine quest line. We just need to um, assault Umaril's uh, base of operations. <laughs> I was trying to think what a word to say. It's, it's been quite a fun little time really and we are just gonna kind of probably sneak our way in there, like knock out some people. It's gonna be a good time but I wouldn't have any lives we're gonna lose because you know, we've got our, um, the other knights are going to join us. And I'm like, please don't. I don't need your help. <laughs> Which is it's kind of arrogant, I know. But, uh, it's just like, dive into this alien ruin. You can kind of see there's... Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, this, this, this just feels like it's going to go badly, doesn't it? Nope. Now I think in this location, ooh, or maybe not. Maybe it's not here. But let's continue onward, shall we? Um. Uh. Yeah. Gates are open remotely. Ah, uh, what pain. So there must be. Oh, there, 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 there's. I, I see it. There's a. That looks, that looks to be a button. Push block. Sir Caradus and Sir... Um, don't, don't! Oh, you fools. They're really, they're really going for it. Ah, run away! Oh no! They killed our buddy! You killed my friend! Oh, the Carados! No! Oh, it's a Carados, you poor, poor sod. I tried to save you, I tried to warn you, but no. It's an own fault for charging ahead like that. That was just never going to end well, was it? Oh. Let me just grab my headset so we can kind of hear the... hear things. Oh, is this where I need to be? Apparently it is. Up, uh, Sir Fedret. Look, Sir Fedret. Bella and Mara will be avenged. Yeah, calm down, okay? Because you you are gonna just like put yourself into a major problem if you. Oh no, don't. I mean, he's he's invulnerable, so it's fine. Ah, just die already. No. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. But basically, the, these guys, they'll um, basically keep reviving. So let's just... <laughs> I swear it's just him on his own down there, which is just like a sad state of affairs when you think about it. Let's... Uh... I guess I was invisible. Where's my invisibility potions? Oh. He's like... <laughs> now, I don't know if he'll actually revive. Right, so let's just go up here and... Do I just... Do I... There we go. I've, I've... Ooh, I'm guessing I go this way. <laughs> Based on that massive gust of wind. So many potions of um, like so many potions. It's just 
Just in general. Ooh. You yeah, sure I get fancy with me and sort of build up this boss encounter. <laughs> oh, that, that was kind of funny. It just sort of ran straight up to me. And... I mean, theoretically, they, they really should have they really should have spotted me there. <laughs> oh, I love how powerful, like, sneaking is in this game. It is just... It's pretty beautiful. Oh, that's Umaro up there. Ah, oh my word, he has reach. He's also like quite tall. Oh, ow. Okay, okay, what we'll do. Uh oh, damn it. I should be able to just gone. Okay, so I've got to use the blessings of Talos. Take a sword. So, oh, can I sit? Oh yeah, look at me. Oh, I, I am just like yeah. But we also need to like heal ourselves up because um, that hurt. Three. Oh. So at least that will kind of restore our health a little bit. There we go. And now I just need to cast Blessings of Talos on myself, if I remember correctly. And it will take us to the spirit realm where we need to finish off Umaro once and for all. Uh, okay. Um, you know what? I wonder if we can go one, two, three, four. Okay, you can still see me, but if I don't oh I can't. Hang on. Ow. You can still see me right now. I kind of want to see if... Actually, that's a good question. Can I paralyze him? I can. <laughs> Sucks for you, eh? Umaville. Let's go. Oh, I can't do more, more potions right now. I mean, I could I could paralyze him. I'm going to be drinking any more potions. He does have, like, exceptional reach, though, on that sword of his. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's because I've still got the four chameleon effects on. Well, let's just go... Ow. Whoa, okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh, and, and then I thought, like, okay, never mind. We just, like, deck the sod out of them. Crusade, arise. Stand and face the light. Breathe again. Shall serve yeah, I can barely hear him. And the shield of the nine and of dark times to come. We owe you a debt of thanks. You have succeeded where we could not. You and your knights have held true to your purpose. Back home. Our purgatory is at an end. We go to the glory of the nine. To serve in their host and the light. This one we do. You may call upon the spirits. When you need us. 
Simply pray that our kingdoms may be to us a breath, a blessing from heaven. May your sword serve the nine all the days of your life. I mean, the likelihood is I'm going to commit some sort of atrocity and then I'm going to lose my divine favour. What about you? Oh, hey, Sir Beric. You redeemed my soul from the evil that it instilled bitterly. Anyway. So I think we can place all the relics. So I'm, I'm now very much naked. So let's just... um. Where's my inventory? Umuro's sword, pretty nice. And do, do, do. I apparently do not have like any sort of like. Well, let's put that on. This is fine. But well, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Just look at that. And that will sit there, and I can I can go reclaim it, but I think I would rather be. Just look how much faster I move when I'm in light armor. But yeah, there we go. That was um, that's a, oh hey, Lord Crusader, how can this be? You you're alive. It's a myth. You vanished. Searched further into the you had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. I mean, so I, I probably had some wounds. We did not draw breath. We laid you to rest in the undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemy. Um, indeed, they are. Tell me, yes, Umura was destroyed. I have severed his very soul. Then he is destroyed. We've won. Oh, but yes, so, I suppose now the next thing to do is to go into the world of insanity and head towards the Shivering Isles. Hey. Knights of the Nine, hear me. I don't have time for your talk. I hate to say it. I'd love to sit and, like, hear you guys chat it out. But unfortunately, I've got better things to do. I've got more important things to do. I was quite surprised how much I was able to stagger Umaril, though. He, he just, like... Oh, he took a pounding, didn't he? But, you know. Sucks to be him, I suppose. And you can see in the distance, there's, like, a weird, like, head-shaped... Oh. Oh, no, a mud crab! Oh, no! I always fear some opponent yet. <laughs> uh, oh, I do. I swim pretty fast. Zoom. Look at me go. And I went quite deep. This is literally like just a floating rock. It's not even like. Yes. Can't talk now. That door has been making noises again. Here comes it's another right. one. Madness. Why? Why? Everything is wrong. It can't be done. Stay away from me. I won't go back. You can't make me go back. I'll kill you all. You're all going to die. Stay back. This one's violent. Go on. I mean, Khajiit Lady needs to, like, butt out a little bit, doesn't she? <laughs> Jesus! How much hate you... I mean, either this guy here does, like, next to no damage, or this guy has, like, a buttload of HP. He's nearly dead. 
I could join in. Actually, no, my camp is a murderer and I might lose my divine favour. I could. Hang on. <laughs> Even the Khajiit got involved. I'd stay back from that door, if I were you. I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly normal people. I'm going in. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. <laughs> I'm just here to warn people. I'm not here to keep people out. Unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Useless mortal meat. Walk it. Well, oh. oh, the, the door. Hmm. I still say no. Go Why am I okay? Hang on. Bring me a champion. Rend the flesh of my foes. A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemy. I mean, that'd be me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's be civil, shall we? Please. Let's. Oh, I've got to sit down for this. Um. Um. Uh... Oh no. Oh. I thought the game had broken there for a second. Yes. What can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Yes. Yes. You have entered, and now you are here. Amazing. Truly. You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheagora, Prince of Madness. And who are you? I am Haskell, okay. Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagora. Because my Lord wills it to be so. It poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation. Okay. And the people outside? They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. Cool. And can they be cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. I, I think I do, because I've got a vendetta against God. For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to... What happens you now? do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your... Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If you can... Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I've other duties. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. I've made up well, my mind. I'll do it. Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the... Can I... Well, I'm just, I'm just going to squat here, I suppose. Well, so this is all kind of cool. Uh, can I get out of this chair is the question. I don't... Oh. Help me. Oh. Oh, that was weird. So I must go first go through the gates of madness. So you see, this is all kind of cool. This kind of gives me, you know, at, at least some of the weirdness of the. Oh, there's a gobbly monster there. Gonna punch him. Get 
knocked out with poisons. I'll take those. See, this has at least got a bit more sort of... I mean, it's still a bit of a green place. Would have been nicer if it was a... Um, what would you call it? I don't know. If it had a bit more flavour to it. Is flavour the right word I want? I don't know. Now I'm unsure. Doesn't matter. Onwards and upwards. With the weird mushroom, very sort of Morrowind style mushrooms around here, which is kind of cool. I can dig that. Now let's continue on our journey. Through this. Ooh. Welcome to my town. He guards the gates of madness. See for yourself. They say the keys are sewn up in the gatekeeper's body. The place was pretty deserted when I got here. Of course, once I was here, others... Sure. If you have to fight a flesh atronaut, a good shot... Mm, thanks, for, thanks for the heads up. Hey, 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 where, where you going? I'm guessing... I'm going to watch you get destroyed by the gatekeeper. This could be fun. Oh, no, no, you're both coming this way. You there, stay away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. This should be easy. I mean, it looks like they got it covered. Oh, it resists paralyze. I'm getting out of here. Hmm. Oh no. Yes. He guards the gate. Yeah, yeah. Jared Ice Veins wants to kill the gatekeeper. Jared Ice Veins, okay. I could probably like I could probably brute force my way through them, but let, let's see what the um, what does the game want me to do? Hello, I'm Dredwin. No. One. Yeah, you know what? He protects the gates of madness. He'll kill anyone who gets near. Bye. Have to fight a flesh astronaut. A good shock spell. You okay. really fought that Umaril creature in the sky over the Imperial City? I did, yes. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor, if you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We can get into the gardens. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe it. <laughs> but I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. Okay. You see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. That sure. Here. Should we? Hey, Tom. Well, what have we here? No, I don't think so. You're an adventurer. Uh, gatekeeper. The gatekeeper is my child. The consummation of Sheagora. Hmm. His brothers. You won't bother those blessed by Lord Sheagora. You. You? Ha! Huh. No, you have a conventional type of soul. But I don't make that dis. Were it up to me, I'd cut you. Oh. No. Uh, no, I must kill you. Find him if you'd like. Believe. I'll find a way. I'm bored with you. Why don't? There's one sure way to stop a tongue from flapping. Okay. Right, so you're going to go off that way. You know, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. You know, what's the worst thing to happen to me trying to punch the gatekeeper a couple of times? I'm pretty stealthy. I can stay, I can keep myself hidden. Oh, 
What I might do is actually, I might use. Oh, okay. Much bigger than I was expecting, truth be told. Right. Let's grab my. Grab some potions. Let's. Um... Two, three, four. I guess I was pretty invisible. Oh ho ho! No. Oh, okay, it, it it could like telekinesis me. This this isn't going well. And it looks like its health is regenerating. Um, where is my potions? Oh. Ah, oh, you see, I'm not going to be able to drink any more potions. <laughs> yep. Let's just hide. Again. Come on. You can't see me. I'm I'm practically invisible. Whoa. Oh come on. Gotcha. <laughs> nah, take the keys. My keys now. Okay. Gates of Madness or the Gates of Delirium, was it? Oh no, it's Mania. Oh. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite dis... You'll want to seek out Lord Sheyagor. Okay, so the lands of dementia reflect the darker side of its residents. It is easy to get if you wish to meet dementia's citizens, seek them out in Deep Wallow or Felmore. Or oh, Mania. The lands of Mania are bright, vibrant, and full of color. You'll find its inhabitants. If you wish to meet the residents of Mania, you'll find them. Though the citizens and creatures of Mania are colorful, they can often. Well, yeah, let's let's yeah, let's go to. To Mania? Mania sounds kind of fun. That's dementia. Yeah, we'll go through madness. The blessings of Mania. I must have plucked that. Okay. So I must seek out Shea Gorath, who is in New Sheriff, I believe. You can actually just quick travel there. No, I can't quick travel. Eh. You've got nice bones. No, that's uh, slightly concerning. Please don't comment on my bones ever again. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Green green landscapes just I mean, it's all right, I suppose. Oh, what on earth is that? It's like a weird, dangerous thing. <laughs> well, it's dead. Regardless of what it is. I can still punch it. Oh. Sneak up on this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a new shay off and we'll 
end it there. What kind of bow did he have? Probably a grammar. Oh, madness or Org of Madness. Oh, can't drink any more potions. Ah, uh, whoa! Okay, I, 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 I flung myself high into the air there, but there seems to be something I think wants to be dead. Hey, Grandma! Oh! Basically, it's just like. A scary looking woof. Which is fine, I can live with that. God, we haven't got much further to go. In this environment, it's. Oh, what on, what on earth is that? An evil tree! Well. It's. Well. It was an evil tree! That's made me wonder what the um, other side, like you got the main, you got the dementia. I wonder what the other like location would have been like. Hmm. Oh, it's a bollywog. Bollywog? Bollywog? Uh, some creature. I'm gonna kill up. And there's new Sheoff over there. In new Sheoff, there is a merchant that sells really good magical items. Um, and because I've got 50 mercantile, he should sell, like, basically dungeon items. Items that you find in dungeons. Which is absolute madness when you think about it. I mean, it's just for our house, of course it's madness. But, um, <laughs> not the point I was making. Let's just drink up some more. Oh, what on earth is that? Oh, is that a hunger? God, I haven't seen a hunger since, um, you know, because they're, they're creatures in, um, in Morrowind. That's kind of cool. New Shea off Graveyard. And oh no, I've been spotted by a slaughter fit. Whoa, not a slaughter fish. Whoa, another yeah, why are these germinal gnarls? Killer trees. Uh, won't be the first time I've been attacked by a killer tree in a game. Ah, uh, we found the crucible. How mad God's blessings. Thank you. The Maz can guard crucible in New Sheaf. We ensure the demented remain order. Oh. Walk with our Lord. Mm. Right, and there should be, I think, is it here? No. There is a shop I'm looking for. I just want to check it out before we um, bring things to a close. Things found. Might be in, in my might be in things found. You got a problem? Oh no, it's arrows and mysteries. Ah, oh, wait, what? What's the time? Ah, oh, okay, let's actually. Yeah, let's let's wait up for the bulk of the day. See, so yeah, this guy here, I believe. Firm arms, a strong back. Time need. Anyway, 
on display. Oh, yes. You see, I am a student of chronomancy. Using Magicka, I will slow your heart rate. Your you will be perfectly preserved. Taken out. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, what is it that I can do for you? Uh, I, I want to buy stuff. See, you want like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, this, this, this is what I mean. Look at these items. Fucking 14% reflect spell on self. Um, yeah, basically of nihilism. This is magic. 11% 11 I've got like pretty decent magical resistance as it is. Let's just buy up both of these. We can duplicate them later. But I think for the time being, we are going to end it here in the Crucible. We made some pretty decent progress. And we will start the Shivering Isles quest so we can fight Jigalad and end the Grey March. So, with all that said and done, I hope you have enjoyed yourselves. Um, the, the, the usual, you know, boilerplate, you know, there'll be links to my socials in the description below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> Hey, thanks for joining me on this episode of Oblivion. So now that we've completed Knights of the Nine, we're going to move into Shivering Isles, and hopefully that should be... It should be interesting. I've actually, much like Knights of the Nine, never done Shivering Isles. I don't know exactly what to expect. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you can click on me right there. Otherwise, just there, there's some videos of my Morrowind stuff and some other stuff. It might also be the Morrowind stuff, depending on what the um, YouTube views as... Um, but suitable for my viewers, I think. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't understand how that second box works. Never really investigated. Anyway, I'll see you around.